Okay, if you want to play Lords of the Fallen on a PC with a keyboard and mouse, there's most likely some changes that you're going to want to make to your mappings to make this game a lot easier to play. So let's get right into it. One of the first things you're going to want to change is how you run and how you jump. Normal games that you play on a PC, you jump with your spacebar and you run with your shift. So let's make that change first. We're going to go into settings. We're going to go into key bindings and we're going to find the run. It's right here, sprint, it's actually called. And let's change that to shift. And as we're doing this, it's going to uh, unbind some keys, but we'll get to that. And then the other one is jump. So let's find a jump here. And it's right here. And see, F to jump, that really doesn't make any sense, right? <laughs> so let's change that to spacebar. And you see uh, it unassigned to some other actions, that's okay. And if we try to close it, it says we can't because there's unassigned actions. So let's try to uh, take care of those right now. And you'll notice what was changed was the dodge and block. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to assign block to one of my mouse buttons. And you can see right here, your mouse buttons right now is mapped to heavy and light attacks. Now I'm going to give you a hint. Your heavy and light attacks do the exact same amount of damage. Okay. Now, so why would you have two different ones? Well, the light attack performs a little bit faster uh, from the get-go, but your heavy attack, you can long press it, like hold down the right mouse button, and it winds it up to do even more damage. So what we're going to do is we're actually just going to stick with using heavy attacks, and that's it. And then our block is going to be our left mouse button. So let's go to block, and we'll click on that, and now it's our right mouse button. So that leaves, oh, wait a minute, let's see here. Oh, so my heavy attack is actually going to be my left mouse button. Because that's going to be my main attack. So the thing that's good about that is you can just, you know, tap it normally and it swings and it does the same amount of damage as light attack. Or I can hold it down and charge it up and do even more damage. Now that doesn't mean I'm not going to be using light attacks. That just means light attacks are going to become less uh, prominent in my gameplay. So instead, what I'm going to do is move that to my left control. So now I hit left control and uh, that does my light attacks. But mostly, like I played this whole game through. I played it through, uh, like, I guess, I'm three times, almost three times now. And I've done it with just heavy attacks and blocking and dodging, of course. Uh, so let's see. The next thing we have that's not bound is our dodge here. So dodge... Now I'm using a gaming mouse that has two buttons on the side for your thumb buttons. So I'm going to take advantage of those. And what this does is that removes some of the responsibility from your left hand and it puts, you know, from your keyboard hand and it puts it on your mouse hand. Um, so let's do that. Let's change dodge to uh, my thumb mouse button two. And then the next one is ranged option. Now ranged option, this is anything that you use with a lantern or for spell casting, or if you're using a bow or a crossbow, things like that. All of those things are called ranged options. And normally you have a weapon in your hand or a weapon in shield, but then when you wanna to switch to ranged options, this is the button you press. So for me, I'm going to bind that to my other thumb mouse button, like this. Now I believe we have one more that's unbound. Oh no, it is, okay, so everything looks good here. So now when I run, I just tap shift and you don't have to hold it. You just tap it one time and you're running. And the other one was dodge um, or wasn't dodge. It was a uh, jump. You notice in this game, it's kind of weird. You can only jump when you're running. Like if I'm walking, uh, jumping does nothing. <laughs> so it's kind of weird. All right. And with my mouse buttons, uh, I can block. So I'm holding down my right mouse button to block and I'm tapping my left mouse button to swing. And that's a heavy attack. It's just a regular heavy attack. I can chain it up, you know, it goes back and forth. But the good thing about this is now I can long press it and it charges it up and does more damage. The light attack doesn't do that for you. Now, the next thing I'm going to change is, has something to do with those ranged options that we're talking about. You remember I, I said I bound that to my uh, one of my thumb buttons? So you notice down here when I hold it, it goes to my ranged options, right? So you see that hand in the lower 
right hand corner. See, it focuses on that. Now it'll use the hand to perform some function or it'll use the lantern to perform some function. You notice there's a number above the hand. It's a two. So if I hit two, I switch to hand and now there's a one on the lantern. So I hit one and it switches to lantern. Now, those are two buttons that I have to, you know, remember and to hit to switch between. But there's also a button in your key mappings called toggle, which will just toggle these. So normally I'm just going to hit that button whenever I want to switch because that's all I'm doing. You know, uh, instead of hitting one and two and trying to remember one and two all the time, which one I want, I just hit toggle and it just switches between the two. So what I did, and you can change this to anything you want, but I changed it to uh, one. So now I just hit one and it toggles between the lantern and my other ranged option. And for your lantern, you're going to have to bind that to something or else you see it won't let me uh, get out of this. So I just assign it to something over on the other side of the keyboard, like the backslash. Now you notice another thing in this game is uh, targeting. And what key do you normally use uh, for targeting? You see that little uh, reticle it puts on the target up there? I could turn it on and off and that's bound to your middle mouse button. Well, this option is up to you. I left it on the middle mouse button, but in a lot of games, they use the tab, right? For tab targeting. And uh, that is a good option for you to use. Now, one thing I wish this game did have was uh, you may know from other games that you tab to select something and then you hit tab again and it goes over to another target. Well, you don't have to do that on this game. You can just, I'm moving my mouse right now to switch between, you know, sliding my mouse back and forth. They do have key bindings for this, but again, that's overloading my keyboard hand, right? So I don't use those. I just use my mouse. But I wish this game had uh, one key to target and cycle through targets, but it doesn't. So that's another option that you can uh, change if that's something you're more comfortable with. So if we look here, middle mouse button is your, it's lock on, you know, I call it targeting or like, you know, cause you're, that's what you're doing. You're targeting something. So you can change that to tab if you want. Uh, and then that will make it seem like a regular PC game. Okay. I hope this video helped make playing this game a little bit more simpler and dividing the responsibilities across both hands uh, while playing it. In the next video, we're going to talk about uh, some tips on combat strategies and how you can get better at combat.